I am recording this in case I don't make heat back. At least there will be some record maybe you will have a chance. My name is David, and I've been working as a detective for 12 years. I'm good at my yobai, even have a 95% clearance rate. That means that I've solved over 90% of my cases. The national average is 43. My nickname at the department is the preacher is funny, because I don't even believe before my father died. Though he gave me the cross he always wore and made me promise I would never take it dot off any other time, I would have argued with him whenever I look in the mirror dot and see it. I tuck it away under my shirt. It always seems out of place doesn't belong. I mention it because, well, because of what happened last Thursday. Thursday night, a case was reassigned to a woman had been found dead in the basement of an abandoned church. Her body had already been taken to the coroner. So I made myself a cup of coffee and grabbed my jacket on the way out off door. While I waited for the coroner to return, I examined the dead woman slowly moving around the tablet, saw no obvious cause of death. Pretty twenties blonde, no blood under the fingernails, no signs of struggle nothing. So I walked over to one of the middle chairs, sat down and waited for him to return. I closed my eyes for a moment giving them a rest from the harsh glare of the overhead lights when I, I glanced back at her. And that's when I saw boo marks on her neck. How would I missy walk to her side, not taking my eyes from the two marks on her throat dot, but as I leaned down to examine her. I found myself looking at nothing there dot was nothing there. I thought of the scene dot of the homicide, an old abandoned church on Canal Road, a homeless man had been sleeping in the choir loft when he heard women screaming, so he ran outside and eventually flagged down a passing police car. They found her on the stone floor off the church basement. I watched the sun go down. As I drove over to the scene of the church, where the woman had been killed the day before all the other officers had left, and I was alone in the quiet pushing open the large oak doors of the church, I stared up at the altar it had dot been many years since the place had been abandoned. Maybe it was the cold stone dot face of the statue, staring down at Mebut, I began to feel uneasy. I pulled myself together and headed down dot the stairway at the back of the church it was pitch black, and it is my flashlight flickered I cursed myself for not bringing an extra one. I made my way down dot of the circular stone stairway and found myself in front of a heavy oak door large carving of a cross had been scratched out. Pushing the oak door open slowly and with some effort, I peered into the darkness of the basement ducking under the caution tape, saw an old candle and a set of matches near me. Striking a match, I lit the candle and illuminated the room before him, although the body had been removed. I could still feel a sense of death around him kneeling down to examine the chalk outline on the ground, before me I put me hand where her body had been and closed my eyes or trying to picture her last moments. Something dark flashed inside Mimint, and I got this feeling like something lives here. And maybe it's coming back and pushing those thoughts out of my mind. I examined the room carefully dot and found two things of importance. First, a silver cross like the one in my father had given me on the ground at the basement, while a cross in a church is nothing out of the ordinary. This one was different. Its surface was burned charred like it had been set on fire and just left a burn. I picked it up carefully and bagged it as evidence. Using the candle to light my way, I came across something else out of place, words scribbled on the wall, barely even visible, with the darkness I wrote the letters into my notebook. A sun late of that night, back at home, I sat in front of my desk and stared at the burned cross opening up the notebook I tried to make sense of the letters on the wall. Maybe it had been there for years. You tariffs as I stared out of my kitchen window into the darkness of the forest it occurred to me that maybe the letters were mixed up somehow, moving the letters around for a few minutes. I realized God neglected to do the most obvious maybe the word was backwards, as Eo rode the word out, and my excitement was gone dot as quickly as it had come a sense of dread came over me as I looked down at my notebook no, for a two. This will be the end of my recording for tonight. I'm going back to the church, I have to go to has to be some explanation what's album room if. I make it back, I will record another update. But if I don't, 
Maybe you will be able to pick up where I left off. No, if you are me, two nas for out. <laughs>